in a comber the component that rotates both in the forward and the backward direction is so in comber the comber the role of the comber is to make the yarn more fulfilling that is improve the softness and kind of thing so in the what is the role what is the component that rotates both in the backward as well as forward direction so if we, you know about the basic concepts and the machinery of the com mach comber then if you know the detaching roller the nips are arranged in such a way that it rotates both uh, one time front and then other time the in the backward direction and what is its the function of the detaching roller the detaching roller draws the clamped fiber out of the web and is held by the feed rollers inside the nippers so the detaching roller option d is the right answer now coming to the next question yarn that has helically twisted fibers at the core and the belts or the wrappers on the surfaces ring yarn rotor yarn compact yarn and air vortex yarn this is a straightforward one mark question in the in rotor yarn the helically twisted fibers are present in the core if we talk about the ring yarn if we talk about the ring yarn the ring yarn is the very strongest yarn so the twist due, due to the twisted fibers helically twisted fibers uh, in the rotor yarn so option b is the right answer now coming to the next question a relatively flat middle zone in a com sorter diagram indicates higher fiber length variation lower fiber length variation higher mean length lower mean length so if you have read the com sorter diagram so it is made something like that it is not a perfect pitch it is not a perfect kind of thing but it is a you will get the rough idea from this ki how this com sorter diagram works so this is a, a typical variation of a com sorter diagram this is the fiber length in percentage of fiber so as you move along the length and in case of middle zone so middle zone this is a typical middle zone and in this middle zone the length variation is typically low compared to the front uh compared to the top and the end zone so option b is the right answer lower fiber length variation this is a textile testing simple basic question of one mark and com sorter diagram is very important for gate textiles every year or the other um, one question is directly asked from com sorter diagram either numerical or theory directly now coming to the next question a three bladed beater is running with an angular velocity of 600 rpm and delivering material at a rate of 600 kg per hour number of strikes per kg of the delivered material in integer is so if you notice the angular velocity is given to be 600 rpm but for a single beater for a three bladed beater what three bladed beater it becomes 3 into 600 that is 1800 rpm and the delivery rate is delivery rate given as 600 kg per hour so the number of strikes becomes um the velocity and the angular velocity of the beater divided by the delivery rate it uh, is 1800 upon rpm upon 600 kg per hour do take care of units very carefully so you can see that ki Three 
RPM means minute and kg per hour. So per hour. So when it comes out to be three per kg into minute, sixty minutes minutes into sixty upon minutes. So minute minute cancel. So one eighty per kg. Because it r this r goes up and one r equals to three and sixty minutes. So three into sixty one eighty minutes and minute to minute got cancelled and we got number of strikes to be one eighty strikes per kg of the delivered material. So these types of questions are very simple. You just know need to know the basics that mm, the angular velocity was given to be for a single bladed beater and uh, if it is three bladed beater then the angular velocity becomes three times because as the number of blades increases the velocity per increases as it depends directly upon the number of the blades and it is directly proportional to the number of the blades so do take care of these simple kind of things now coming to the next question assume that there is no compression of row wing during winding and each coil of a layer is placed directly over the coil of the previous layer a full row wing bobbin consisting of 50 layers of row wing is wound on an empty bobbin of 60 meter di mm diameter if the diameter of the row wing is 1 mm then the diameter in mm of the full bobbin in an integer is it is also a one mark question so what they are saying is it is a bobbin of 60 mm diameter and in this each coil of layer is wound directly over the another matlab of first layer then second layer then third layer and then n number of layers are wound to the each layer a full bobbin contains 50 total 50 layers are first layer second layer till 50th layer of rowing on an empty bobbin of 50 it is an empty bobbin that is of 60 mm diameter if the diameter of the rowing is 1 mm the rowing that is wound is of 1 mm then the diameter of the full bobbin after the rowing is wound wound on the uh, bobbin then what becomes the diameter it is asked so mm, it is a after one layer of rowing what will be the diameter after one layer 6 since it is mm, wound on both the sides so what will be the rowing so the diameter diameter is 2r so diameter becomes 60 mm plus 2 into 1 diameter both the sides of the bobbin matlab like forward first front side and second the back side so 62 mm diameter of the first layer and uh, similarly for the second layer 60 plus 2 into 2 so on and so forth for after 50 layers what it comes out to be diameter will become 60 plus 2 into n n means number of layers 60 plus 2 into 50 So sixty, sixty plus hundred, it comes out to be one sixty mm. This is your answer. So the answer is one sixty. It is a one mark question. So you just need to know the basics. Ki how this uh, wound is done and why it is two into n since it is a front and a back uh, uh, thing. So two into one. मतलब what is the whatever is the diameter of the roving? It is on the front side and as well as the back side. And uh, you need fifty layers, so sixty plus two into n that comes out to be one sixty. Now coming to the next question. it is also a two mark question in this question it is given that keeping the speed of all other components of a carding machine unchanged the angular velocity of a cylinder with damaged wire points in an area of 2 cm cross 2 cm is doubled 
then the wavelength of the periodic fault in the card sliver would be four options are given same half double triple so you this was a typical two mark question and that is a numerical type of question from the yarn process yarn manufacturing process that is carding machine so in this type of questions you need to find what is given and what is asked just write all these things so in this question it is given that the speed is constant the speed of a carding machine remains unchanged that means it is constant so speed remains constant and then angular velocity for second so angular velocity v2 is twice is doubled angular velocity of a cylinder which damaged wire points in an area 2 cross 2 cm is doubled so v2 is equal to 2 times v1 also we know that wavelength of a periodic fault is inversely proportional to the angular velocity and you need to find the wavelength so wavelength is inversely proportional to angular velocity angular velocity so uh, you need to find the vel uh, angular velocity wavelength so angular velocity is given and simply you can solve this question so for wavelength 2 uh, for first wavelength it is denoted by lambda 1 and for second wavelength it is denoted by lambda 2 so lambda 2 upon lambda 2 is upon lambda 1 is inversely proportional to 1 upon v2 upon v1 for two for first wavelength second wavelength i have written this directly solving this so lambda 2 upon lambda 1 is equal to v1 upon v2 and lambda 2 upon lambda 1 is equal to v1 as v1 and v2 is given as this is given 2 times v1 so we can get lambda 2 is equal to lambda 1 upon 2 and this is the answer the wavelength of the periodic fault in the card sliver would be halved what is the existing is lambda 1 and what is the new wavelength is lambda 2 so option b is the right answer the wavelength of the periodic fault will be half so coming to the next question now coming to the next question it is also a two mark question a set of yarns is produced with the same linear density if these yarns follow helical model and their diameter is inversely proportional to twist that is number of turns per unit length then the yarns have the same packing density twist multiplier twist angle of the surface fibers area of cross section so in these types of question what you need to know that is given diameter is inversely proportional to twist it is given in the question and what you need to find and one thing also is given that is same linear density so linear density is also same is same and uh, then you have to find that what are the correct uh, then the yarns have the same what is the uh, what would also be same if the linear density is same and diameter is inversely so one relation you I think you must be knowing that for twist angle for twist angle tan alpha is equal to pi dt where t is twist d is diameter and alpha is the twist angle of the surface fibers so for this it is given that if the diameter is inversely proportional to twist so we can also replace by tan alpha 
is equal to pi in place of diameter we can write as 1 upon twist into twist so tan alpha and for if uh, it is the first case then we can write that it, it is tan alpha 1 so tan alpha 1 is equal to pi it is constant it is also constant and similarly for tan alpha 2 is also pi since it is same diameter is inversely proportional to twist it would be the same in both the cases so you have seen that the twist angle for both these is same then the option correct option would be option c twist angle of the surface fibers would be same for this given thing given set of conditions now coming to the next question it is also a two mark question NAT type 9 slivers having the same mean linear density are doubled on a draw frame that means doubling is done on the draw frame machine if the standard deviation of the linear density of each sliver is 0.3 kilotex then the standard deviation of the linear density of the doubled sliver is so you have to find the linear density of the doubled uh, sliver what is given as number of slivers drafted and doubled that means drafting and doubling is done for number of slivers drafted and doubled are 9 and total drafted sliver linear density if the linear density of the one uh, sliver is 0.3 kilotex then the total drafted Sliver linear density, sliver linear density would be for 1 it is 0.3, then for 9 it is 9 into 0.3, that means 0.7 kilotex. 0.7 kilotex. And so the for doubling, you know that for a standard deviation of the linear density of the doubled sliver, if you find this is standard deviation. Of linear density linear density of doubled sliver of doubled sliver the formula is total drafting upon root of doubling total draft upon under root of doubling that means total draft is 2.7 or doubling uh, is of 9 that means root of 9 means 2.7 upon 3 that is 0.9 kilotex so answer is one decimal place then the correct option is 0.9 so this is a two mark question now coming to the next question in this question it is said that the twist angle in degree of a surface fibers in a yarn with a density of 700 kg per meter cube and twist multiplier of 6000 per meter into under root takes rounded off to the nearest integer is it is a two mark NET question so in this question what is given as TM as it is a twist multiplier and uh, other one the density is given as 700 kg per meter cube it is a density uh, d d small d so uh, you have to uh, find twist angle theta so you know that tan theta is equal to pi into d into t so tan theta t is twist so twist you we have we do not know twist so with the help of twist multiplier we will find out what is the value of twist since uh, di density diameter is in so d upon 100 meter so it is um, consider it to be in centimeter what is it is in centimeter so d upon 100 into meter if d is given in, in centimeter so it is in meter what is t the formula of twist is twist multiplier 6000 that is twist multiplier upon 
पाई डी स्क्वायर डी डायमीटर पाई डी स्क्वायर अपॉन फोर दैट मीन्स रेडियस पाई आर स्क्वायर पाई आर स्क्वायर इन टू रो रो मीन्स डेंसिटी द डेंसिटी इज गिवेन आउट टू बी इन सेवन हंड्रेड के जी पर मीटर क्यूब बट कीप टू कीप दीज ऑल दीज थिंग्स इन सेंटीमीटर सो कन्वर्टिंग दीज थिंग्स इन टू थाउजेंड सेंटीमीटर थाउजेंड ग्राम अपॉन इन सेंटीमीटर वी नीड टू फाइंड इन टू टेन की पावर फाइव इन टू टेन की पावर फाइव अपॉन टेन की पावर सिक्स to keep these all these things in centimeter per meter cube meter cube means this is comes out to be in centimeter cube meter cube means 100 centimeter ka whole cube means 10 ki power 6 so i think you have understood why 10 ki power 6 is divided and for 10 ki power 5 10 ki power 5 is kept for centimeter okay then if you will solve all these things then the tan theta will come out to be if you will solve then root pi upon pi upon root pi will come out to be root pi into everything will get cancelled and if you will solve it will come out to be 6 into 2 upon 7 into 10 not 7 it is under root 7 so if you will solve then tan theta upon solving this equation i have solved it already then it will come out to be 0.809 theta will come out to be tan inverse of 0.809 if you will find the tan inverse of 0.809 using the calculator that is already given in the gate Uh, examination then it will come out to be around 39 degree so the twist angle in degree it was also already asked then the twist angle would be 39 in the nearest integer just keep the units very carefully rounded off to nearest integer either one digit place one digit decimal two digit decimal all these things need to be taken very special care Now coming to the next question. Now the breaking load of a cotton yarn with twist multiplier as 4 TPI into under root any indirect count is 2.5 newton. If the twist number of turns per inch of the yarn is 20, then the tenacity tenacity is gram per tick or centi newton per tick of the yarn rounded off to two decimal places is. Then this is very simple. the unit of tenacity is centi newton per tick just calculate the uh, centi newton that is yarn force load load then the load is given as load per tick tick means the yarn count just divide the load per unit count then it will come out to be tenacity load is 2.5 newton if we multiply By 100, 2.5 into 100, it will come out to be 250 centi newton. And uh, just calculate the yarn count. So how we will calculate the yarn count? Because any is not given, and TM is and TM and TPI is given. So you know the formula. TPI is equal to TM into under root. TPI is equal to TM into under root any. tm into under root any so tpi is uh, tpi is given as tpi is 20 and tm is 4 into under root any you have to calculate then it will come out to be 5 so any is 5 square is equal to 25 any 25 any so how to calculate the tex since we have to calculate tenacity in tex tex is 590.5 upon any so 590.5 upon any is 25 so if uh, you calculate then it will come out to be 23.62 so we have calculated this as tex 
and this has load as centinewton load centinewton load in centinewton centinewton and this is count in tex count yarn count so tenacity in centinewton per tex is centinewton per tex is 250 upon 23.62 if you will calculate this then it will come out to be 10.58 Cent centinewton per tex and this is the answer so the tenacity is 10.58 centinewton per tex so this is the answer i think you must have understood the basic concept behind all these things the special things to note is the basics of uh, these things the basics of uh, units the basics formulas and then you can calculate therein and thereafter now coming to the next question